Welcome to Dr. Chester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this from the Redanian Intelligence. The Witcher Season 4 to start pre-production very soon. Oh boy. I guess Netflix hasn't learned a single lesson from The Witcher Blood Origins. Do you remember that shit show? Came out kind of like last year at the very beginning. Um, no, not at the very beginning. Yeah, the very beginning of December ish from last year. It provided a lot of content for multiple YouTubers, including this little asshole over here with two thumbs. Yeah, it was cool, easy content. I mean, it was retarded as fuck. <clears throat> Ray swapped characters. A story that made absolutely no sense whatsoever, ever, and it it made all the right people to try and defend this because uh, it was absolutely hilarious how they tried to defend this because it's woke and the woke darts try to defend it. Anyway, take a look. This one from January second, twenty twenty three. Screen rant. What went wrong with Witcher Blood Origins? I say. I think to make the article a little bit shorter, you should have written what went right with Witcher Blood Origin. And then you go on and write the article. Nothing. There you go. That's how you do it. But then again, you won't earn any money because you are paid by the ward, aren't you? Yeah. Right, so, moving on, back to the Redanian intelligence, news on the Netflix which haven't been exactly plentiful in the last couple of months, yeah, it's been hard to get content from my channel like that, anyway, aside from the upcoming uh, anime, The Witcher Sirens of the Deep, that is set for late 2024, I have no hope on that one either, we saw what happened with Castlevania, Release going on into 2024, things will become more active again as pre-production for Season 4 will pick up the pace soon. Shit on a pickle, fuck. This is hilarious, isn't it? Oh, I got some back pain. Ah. This is hilarious because we know Henry Cavill left the show. We know the shit show that happened that caused him to leave. And they haven't respected the Lord, they haven't respected the fans, they haven't respected anything. I'll say respected the book writer, but I don't think he gives a shit. Because um, he's a known asshole who doesn't care. They can. Alright. Moving on. Uh, they haven't respected the Lord, the, the people who read it, the fans, or anything like that. Even the game is even closer to the actual source. Then the actual garbage show that we got. And yet, somehow, somehow, Netflix is still going forward with this. You haven't lost enough money, have you, Netflix? But before I continue, here is something very important that you should watch. Because it's actually better than The Witcher Blood Origins. At, at, at the very least, I can guarantee you that one.
back, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. All right, right, right. Continuing. Now things are ready for the next phase of pre-production of The Witcher Season 5. We will kick into full gear in January 2024. Oh, yay. It must have been the actual writer's strike. But then again, why would that affect The Witcher? Considering that I don't think there were any writers in the goddamn fucking show. Considering how garbage that thing is. Well, maybe there were writers. Um, all the writers, 99% of them are shh. Shitty fucks. Maybe? Right. Right. So technically, the season has been in light pre-production for months, but it won't be full steam ahead until next month. Ah, oh, poor Ian Hansmorth. I think it's Ian Hansmorth. Mm. Uh, right. So, you got even more bad news. Or maybe good news. If you're me. Mostly because of the content. It's free content. I mean, it's really easy content. And you gotta look at this garbage. It's just a pre-production. I'm already reporting on it. Because I'm salivating at the absolute shit show that this thing is going to provide. Hey. I am a low fruit hanging kind of guy. I see low hanging fruit. I'm gonna go and fucking pick it. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Right. Here. Netflix plans to film season four, four, make a short pause, then start filming season five. Oh, that's just wonderful. We are going to get graced with more garbage on TV. Oh, then again. Like I said, it's absolutely amazing because I get free content. Remember... Oh, it's not Liam. It's Liam. 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 Mm, Liam. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Here. Liam Hemsworth, Entertainment Weekly. Here is how Henry Cavill exits the Witcher. Liam Hemsworth will now play Geralt of Rivia in the series moving forward. Yeah, this is after the massive, massive shit show. We know one very, very, very well reported case in which uh, Henry Cavill was reading the script, um, thereabouts. Uh, the and it was talking about the death of his horse, Roach. In the book and in the game, if I'm remembering correctly, or something like that. Uh, I haven't played the game Witcher 3 yet. <sighs> Lack of time, don't judge me. Um, and the horse dies. And it's sad, a sad event, especially on the books. Harry Cavill goes and sees, and the script says it's uh, actually a joke. It's actually a comedy. They actually made it a comedy in that scene. Then he stops and rewrites the script in that moment, so it becomes a sad event. He gets authorization, actually from the heads up, from the heads up at the top. And they authorize it and he fixes the scene, while this pissed off apparently a couple of the writers. I mean... Shit, the microphone fell. Um, I mean... Of course it would. I mean... Look, they hired a bunch of retards to write this show. No wonder he was going to fix it, because apparently he's a big, big fan of the IP of The Witcher. But after all, then again, season... Every season, but especially season three, has been more about The Witcher and friends and... Actually, more friends and maybe The Witcher. It involves way more other side characters than him. And some weird, ugly people playing what was supposed to be beautiful characters. Hmm. Yeah. So, basically, in other words, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Because it's free content. Like I said, free content. I'm all about low hanging fruits. So, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night, and I'm gonna celebrate when this shit comes out because it's free content! Uh, it's less work for me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Anyway, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night, and remember, fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you.